So as y'all can see from the thumbnail, this video is gonna be about my personal top 10 sexy ass cold weather fragrances. And I know with the kind of weather that we're having right now, especially weather like they're having in Texas, I know a lot of people aren't thinking about fragrances at a time like this. They're thinking about trying to, you know, stay warm and get food and shelter and stuff like that. But for those of you who are interested in these type videos and that are just having cold weather and not those extreme issues, then definitely stay tuned. So I'm glad you all came back. So if you are new to this channel, this is your first time seeing this handsome face or seeing any of my content, then definitely make sure you take the time out to go check out my videos. And if my content relates to you, then definitely hit that subscribe button. There's an icon bell that's gonna open up. You're gonna hit that icon bell. There's an icon that's gonna open up above that bell or on that bell. Hit all so you get all content uploaded by me through this channel. Make sure you like the videos, that helps a lot. Share the videos, that helps even more. And be active in the comment section, which also helps the algorithm. And with that being said, all of that stuff I just mentioned to you, it costs you absolutely nothing. So don't be afraid when you hit that subscribe button or if you're sitting there thinking about hitting the subscribe button, it's not costing you a dime. With that being said, now I know there are gonna be people who are not gonna like some of these fragrances and I hate, I absolutely hate when we have to do disclaimers and stuff like that in videos. It makes me sick to my stomach that people just don't get things for what they are. Not everybody is gonna like everything. We know this as reviewers. If you've ever been in the fragrance game or have done anything that not everybody likes, like not everybody likes NASCAR. I don't personally like sitting watching people go round and round in circles all day. That's just not my thing. But there are people who are diehard fans. I'm a, a diehard, avid uh, Alabama fan. But there are people out there who despise Alabama despite what we are. National champion 17 times, baby. But anyway, I know there are going to be fragrances on this list that not a lot of people are going to like or they think that something else should have been in something's place, but this is just my personal video, not yours. So let's get that straight off top. And with that being said, let's get to it. And ladies, that thumbnail was for you, not the guys, for the ladies. So guys, don't be jealous, you seen the physique. You saw that, right? I kind of look like, what's his name? Um. Uh. What's the singer from the How Does It Feel video? Um, I kind of remind y'all of him, don't it? Nah, I really don't. I don't look nothing like that. I never have. Um, but with that being said, one day I'll get my behind back in the gym because there was a picture floating around that I posted not too long ago where I was at the best shape of my life. I was big. I was swole. I wasn't cut, but I had size on me. But, you know, hey. The older you get, if you don't stay in health, in good health and stay in shape, things change. But anyway, let's get to it, y'all. This list is in no particular order. I did not put these from my favorite to least favorite or nothing like that. I just grabbed 10 fragrances, laid them out, and that's what I'm going to go with. So let's get started. So the first one I'm going to go with is from the house of Lacoste. And this one does get a little mentioned at times, but a lot of times people mention the other more popular fragrances, but I happen to love this one. And this can be worn in the cold weather. I don't know about extreme cold, but this can be worn in the cold. This is Loam Lacoste Intense. And I'm not gonna go into great detail, but I will put up the note breakdown for you in these in this video. So this is a great fruity scent. I'm not sure if there's um, smells like there's some kind of fruity note, like plum or I don't know what that is. But this is a great smelling scent. And I don't wear this enough and I need to, oh my God, I need to get my hand, I, I need to get more wearing out of this. 
and I also need to find either a backup bottle or a bigger size bottle than this one. But I found this one, I believe at, I wanna say Ross or either TJ Maxx a while back. Great smelling fragrance. If you like Lome Lacoste, the original, then you're gonna love this one because this has that added sweetness. The other one I actually could have put in this list also, but I went with this one instead because this one to me is a lot more sexier than the OG. So this is Lone Lacoste Intense. This one doesn't get as much mention as it used to when I first came into Fragcom. This was one of the best, uh, quote unquote by other people, one of the sexiest fragrances date night out there. And then they said something about reformulation or it doesn't perform like it used to. I can't speak on that because this is actually my first ever bottle of this particular fragrance. I will admit that the performance on me was not that great for uh, what this was said to be. I got about four and a half, five hours out of it, but I'm not one who complains a lot about performance on, in fragrances because I don't mind reapplying. But this is L'Anui de Lome. And this is Cardamom Heavy if I don't say so myself. Um, but it's a fantastic date night scent. This for me does not have to last me 48 to 72 hours or whatever people be looking for when they say they complain about performance. All this has to do is get me through a date. We're going out to eat. We're going out to maybe a movie that was before the pandemic, but this is just before that. So we're going out to eat. We're going to a movie. Uh, we may go walk on the island at the pier or something like that, maybe. And we're going to come back home and, well, you know. Anyway, I still love this fragrance. I don't wear it as much as I used to because I don't know if I'll purchase another bottle of this. Uh, but I have used a little bit of it, as you can see, over time. So that's my next one at the number nine spot, Lanui Delone. Another one from the same house, YSL, and I got this one from my boy Trey Sense. I actually had two bottles of this and one of them I sold. I got from another uh, subscriber of mine. I think we did a trade or something like that or I bought it from him, whatever the case may be. But this one came from my boy Trey Sense when he was finding them. I never found them at that price. They were finding them for like $20 or 20 something dollars at, at uh, Ulta. And I don't know why that little spell came about. I found a bottle of something else. I think it was old team, but it was higher than that. But this is from YSL also. This is Lone Line Tense. And this is another great cool weather fragrance. It smells fan freaking tastic man and i'm glad i got this in my collection shout out to you trey uh for this one and shout out to the subscriber that actually did the trade with me or sold it to me or whatever happened whatever we did but um and i don't remember his name so people don't be like oh he didn't want to mention his name i just can't i deal with so many people i just can't remember everybody's name but um Fantastic smelling fragrance. This is a little on the sweet side. So if you're not into sweet fragrances, definitely stay clear of this one, but this is very nice. I like it a lot. So that was at the number eight spot. Number seven is gonna have to go with, it's gonna have to go to Moschino. And this is Toy Boy. Now, there are going to be a lot of people that see this and they're going to roll their eyes and their head going to roll around and or they're going to do this. This is, to me, a sexy ass fragrance. I love this fragrance. I was kind of surprised to see the travel spray that I found a while back at a TJ Maxx, but shout out to fragrance fanatic Steve. He saw in a video of mine that I was wanting this fragrance and he gifted it to me. 
and I asked him if he wanted me to pay him for it and he said don't worry about it this was his last bottle he had in stock and he gifted it to me so shout out once again to fragrance fanatic Steve go over and check out his channel here is his information so make sure y'all check him out he also has a website and I'm gonna put that information up right here and make sure you go over and check out his website he has great prices great fragrances and everything is legit but this fragrance to me is one of the sexy releases from the house of Mos Moschino this can be worn in cold weather but you also can wear this in the spring I wouldn't say so much in the summer when it's like super hot outside because this can get a little cloying but fantastic smelling scent is more for the grown-up this is not gonna be for somebody you know who's not into more sophisticated type fragrances this may not be complex to a lot of people but to me it smells complex love it Moschino toy boy number six is gonna go to and this particular person I'm about to mention actually gifted me two fragrances and I'm gonna go ahead and do both of those back to back this one was the latest one he sent me and his name is Jakari Pikes he started out as just a subscriber and then you know Trey Sense and I kind of coaxed him into doing reviews and he has gotten started he's almost at the hundred subscriber mark last time I checked so if you haven't checked out JP Frags, which is right here coming up, go over and check out his channel. Give the man some support. Subscribe to the channel. But he sent me this, and I actually was interested because a lot of people mentioned this fragrance. I think it was discontinued, um, but now it's back, and it doesn't stay in stock. So when you see it, you better get your hands on it. It's from the house of Mercedes-Benz. This is Mercedes-Benz Club black this is a very sexy ass attractive smelling fragrance women will love to smell this on a guy perfect date night scent for cold weather oh that smells so good it's sweet I think it has like honey and something or something in it whatever the case may be this smells fantastic, man. If you have not gotten your nose on this and you can, please do so. If you go on these websites, I think fragrancebuy.ca was the last place I think I saw some of these back in stock. So check that out. Mercedes Benz Club Black. And the next one that also came from Jakari Pikes, this was the first one he gifted me and he didn't have to do this, but he did. And this is from the house of Cartier. This is Pasha de Cartier Parfum. And when I smelled this fragrance, excuse my language, but holy shit, this smells fantastic. Wow. If you have not gotten your nose on the Parfum edition of this Pasha de Cartier, you are missing out. I'm telling you, it smells like there's a honey note or something in it. Something is giving it sweetness. The notes is going to be on the screen if it hasn't already popped up. But, oh my God, this is so sexy, man. This is definitely sexy as hell. Trust me. Pasha de Cartier Parfum. Next up. Not a lot of people mention this particular fragrance anymore. I actually love it. This is my favorite from the line. I have not gotten my nose on the Oriental version. I know Ashton from Gent Sense mentions that one a lot. He says that's his favorite. But this one, as of right now, is my favorite. This is from the house of Bulgari. This is Bulgari Man in Black. You want to talk sexy and attractive, especially for the cold weather, a date night type scent. Whew. Look no further than this right here. This stuff is amazing. Masculine as hell. This is probably the most masculine flight fragrance in this list. Besides the next one I'm going to mention, which is pretty masculine too. But 
love this scent if you have not gotten your nose on this and i know you can find this at discounters because gift sets were everywhere around christmas so if you have not gotten your nose on it get your nose on it and pick up you a bottle of this it's not expensive i think it runs like between 30 something to 40 something dollars uh, it may be a little higher depending on bottle size and where you're getting it from in some instances but this is fantastic that's my number three spot number two or number three that was number four i'm sorry this is number three um i didn't get a lot of compliments when i wore this but i actually did wear this to the hospital when i was still there and i did get one compliment from a guy co-worker of mine he was an older guy he said this smells good and this is the first time he ever complimented me and i wore fragrances every day to the hospital but this one is the only one he ever complimented me on and this is from the house of Guerlain or Guerlain this is L'Instant de Guerlain Pour Homme Eau de Parfum and if I butchered that name I'm not perfect it is what it is this is a man a man's man fragrance a manly man's fragrance or however you want to say it yes it kind of has almost a boozy or tobacco like uh scent to it this is very strong but one maybe two sprays of this is more than enough but before you leave the house if you're going to meet your significant other or girlfriend or whatever definitely give this time to dry down before you spray and, and jump right in somebody's face because this is potent this is super potent um, this is not the right cap for this bottle. I bought this from somebody, but they wanted to ship it to me without it spraying. So they stuck another cap, which fits perfect. It's fine with me and it works just fine. But I love this scent and I'm glad I have it in my collection. Number two is one I mentioned not too long ago. And I fell in love with this fragrance when I first smelled it. Now this is not the one that everybody else mentions, but this is the absolute version of it. And this is Hugo Boss, the scent absolute. And you can go back, revert back to the video I did not too long ago. This is a phenomenal smelling fragrance in my personal opinion. Now I know there's another one out there that everybody rants and raves about. I don't own that. I just own this one. And this is it for me sweet it has a sexy appeal to it my girl actually i believe she liked this also i oh my god man out of all these other fragrances this one to me is the most enticing if you ask my personal opinion this smells so good i think this is the one that has manika fruit in it and ashton from gent sense is in love with manika fruit and um I have to agree it gives it a sexy ass sweet oh i can't even describe it in words man if you have not smelled this then definitely go to your local hotel or sephora or wherever that sells this fragrance that's still letting you spray and get your nose on it man trust me you may like this one because i love it and at the number one spot probably not going to be for everybody not everybody likes clone houses and i understand why but for me i have no issue with it if you cannot afford to go out and buy a lot of these fragrances personally then definitely look into some of these clone houses and um get you some of these and this one is from sensual obsessions my boy kevin over there is doing a fantastic job uh, he was sick not too long ago he's back in the saddle now and he's trying to play catch up but this fragrance when he first came onto the scene and he sent out decants of this i absolutely fell in love with it now i have i don't remember smelling the original of this i may have a decant that somebody sent me and i just haven't smelled it yet but without even smelling that i smell this fragrance and i've been a big advocate of it ever since this is his formulation of andy warhol now his very first batch of andy warhol was my absolute favorite 
Um, he did one that came after that he sent me, but it didn't smell the same. And I reached out to Kev and I let him know, hey man, you know, this new batch doesn't smell like the original that you did. And he did some tweaking and I, I think he fixed it. He sent me another bottle and this has been a while now, but this is the other one he sent. Um, and I'm not sure which one came first. It might have been this one, but does it have a date on it? Okay, so this one says 22220, and this one doesn't have a date on it. So I think this one may have been first, and then he revamped the bottles, and then he started putting the dates on them. So this was the one that came second, but these have been sitting and I'm, i've been letting them maturate and i haven't smelled these in a while so i'm going to spray both of these right now just to see what happened and i am going to put it on skin and i have on tom ford's black orchid but i sprayed it just on my neck so i want to spray there and I'm gonna do this bottle, the newer one, on my right hand. And let's see. I, I'm gonna have to say, this one smells better to me than the other one. Now you can see the oil concentration though on my hand or hands. The plum note in this one is a lot more prominent than it is in the older one. And I'm not sure if there's a, you know, a difference in how he made this or whatever, but both of these have been sitting for a while. I haven't worn them in a long time. You can see from the juice levels on these. And I actually was wearing the decant of it that he was sending, that he sent me. Yeah, the newer one is the one that it, it seems more, like I'm picking up more of the notes in the newer one than I am. Let me be fair and give us another spray. And the atomizers are different. This one is more of a mist, but it does give me a quite a bit of juice. This one is more, not as misty, but you get quite a bit of juice. I only sprayed it once and you can see, but the other one dried down quick. So I don't think I got a good spray. Yeah, I'm still gonna have to go with the newer one. They do smell the same. It's just, you can pick out more of, of what's in this one versus this one. Yeah. I like this one better. So, Andy Warhol by Sensual Obsessions, y'all, is my number one. Um, not that I was trying to put it at number one, but that's just where it fell. So, hopefully, this list appeals to someone. If you think something shouldn't have been on this list, and I know some people are probably gonna say Moschino Toy Boy, but it's just my personal opinion, I love it. Um, if you think something else should have been on the list, then let me know what you think should have been on this list in the comment section. And I am out of here, y'all. Here is to smelling great. Peace.